Hey there, everyone. My name's Lionel, and I'm the star of a new show called Thundercats Roar. Wait, you don't know what a Thundercat is? <laughs> oh no, I believe you're the one who is mistaken. You see, I actually know full well what a Thundercat is, and you, sir, are no Thundercat. In fact, these are Thundercats. So this is definitely a, a bit of a pivot. If you frequent my videos, you know that I talk specifically on gaming, but entertainment as a whole is only separated by thin lines the way I see it. And this is sort of a subject I've been wanting to talk about. Uh, now I have a pretty good reason to. Yesterday, we got a tease for the newest Thundercats cartoon series. Thundercats Roar. Uh, and it looks like a complete joke. Like, seriously, something you would see on April 1st, and not even think it was a convincing April Fool's joke. Like, no way. <laughs> Thundercat soy, this would never happen. Uh, the fan backlash has been immense, almost in a way I've never seen before. The announcement video that dropped is sitting with an insanely negative like-to-dislike ratio on YouTube, and things do not get better. If you go into the comments, either on the original video or anywhere else this thing's being discussed. The director of the show even felt pressured enough by the reaction to take to Twitter and call out the so-called haters that uh, don't like this take on the franchise. Apparently he's going into that uh, Ryan Johnson playbook. Uh, actually, my thing is amazing. Uh, anyone who doesn't like it or even criticizes it is, is just a hater. They're a troll. Uh, if that's the way you want to play it, I guess. But why has there already been such a pushback? Uh, I think there are a couple of reasons. One, I think this trend is just getting done to death in cartoons in general. Giving this show a, a quick glance, and it looks identical to almost all the other cartoons today. Uh, not just the art style, but the wacky tone, too. In fact, this reminds me a lot of a similar hero adaptation that I'm also not such a big fan of, Teen Titans Go!, just the same bland art style with this obnoxious, unfunny, unclever show. I just do not get the appeal. I really don't. Now, the big, obvious comeback here would be, well, you're a 30-year-old man. Uh, these shows are for kids. They're not for you. Maybe you shouldn't spend so much of your life concerned with all these childish things. Grow up. Eh, you probably would have a point, too. Uh, yet here we are. I would argue that the it's for kids argument is basically a straight up fallacy. More and more people who grew up watching cartoons, animation, uh, are continuing to watch them into adulthood. I mean, you only have to look as far as how many cartoons there are today that are directed specifically at adults. But if this particular show was meant for kids, why is it Thundercats? You know, Thundercats was big in the 80s, but but is hardly something I'd consider, you know, hip with the modern day youth. So obviously you're trying to attract the longtime fans or else you wouldn't be using this IP. You just uh, use something else or invent. Uh, but no, the cartoons are for kids thing. I'm just not buying it. Definitely not here. And even if it were, let's just pretend all cartoons are for kids. Why do they all have to take this same cookie cutter approach? I'm sure they're getting ratings. The big ones are. But that's easy when there aren't really many other options. You just keep shoving this stuff down people's throats. I mean, hell, back in my day, yes, I said it, uh, but yeah, we had a bit of everything. We had the wacky stuff. Uh, but like, why is everything like this? Why does everyone in these shows have to be a kid or childlike? Uh, where are the adults? Where's today's Batman the Animated Series, possibly the greatest uh, cartoon show of all time, thanks to its much more dark tone. And cartoons, they really need more of that classic vibe. I mean, we're, we're the damn Ronin warriors, for God's sake. Bring that shit back. Like, okay, if you want me to stick with the, you know, think of the children argument, still, what is it about that classic style that was provenly effective? I mean, I'm sorry, no cartoon series today is moving the kind of merchandise that shows back then were moving, okay? It's just not happening. I mean, just tell me, what is it? Is it too much of the toxic masculinity for kids? Is that the problem? 
Was that the problem with characters like uh, She-Ra and Chitara? Just uh, uh, too masculine? Give me a break. Sorry there was never an episode of G.I. Joe where everyone just got a trophy for showing up that day and were told how awesome they are. Yeah, you wouldn't want kids to be exposed to a world where everyone wasn't a winner all the time. And in a similar fashion, my main issue really goes beyond that. And I think this is a large reason why you see so many people getting so upset about this stuff in general. These are established IPs you're screwing with that are established for a reason. This is where apparently I differ hugely <laughs> uh, from a lot of these creators and directors of these projects. If I was handed a franchise like Thundercats that I did not create, that has this big fan base that has been built over decades, I would see it as sort of a burden, uh, more so a responsibility. Like, I have an obligation to these people because they're the reasons I'm here. Again, established franchise. I didn't make this. I'm getting an opportunity to expand on this thing that has existed for all these years because the fans have supported it all this time. And I do think that was the trend with these sorts of things until fairly recently. Nowadays, it seems like people get their hands on these IPs and they feel they just they have full reign to do with it as they please without having to worry, without having to pay any respect to what came before it. Now, obviously, they can. They have the ability to just uh, give the past and the fans the big F you. Like I said, that seems to be more and more the trend. Uh, it's like these brands get resurrected just for people to make a mockery of them. But you should expect the people who are the diehards, the ones that made it possible for you to work on this IP by uh, actually keeping it relevant, to voice their opinions. And to just call these people haters... Is, is like a double slap in the face. Uh, oh, does that just piss me off? Like, again, the people who actually care are the haters. Uh, sure, sometimes people can take their fandom too far and say things that are uncalled for, but to bundle all these people together, the majority, okay, of people who seem to be watching this and not liking what they see and deem them as haters, uh, is just crazy in my opinion. I would be looking at this going like, Holy shit, guys. Uh, I think we might have screwed up. It's probably time to go back to the drawing board. So yeah, basically, I don't want to ramble too much about this subject. But I think th this reception has been built up as a combination of the monotony. You know, so many of these shows looking pretty much identical. Combined with uh, an apparent lack of respect for these existing IPs. That just ticks so many people off. And I believe if you are a fan of this series, if you're a fan of Thundercats, and they show you this and go, Hey, aren't you excited? New Thundercats and it pisses you off, I believe you're justified. This looks like garbage. And keep speaking up, keep letting these people know you're not gonna put up with it. Anyway, with that, this video's a wrap. Uh, let me know your thoughts if you have any on this Thundercats debacle, um, you know, maybe the mishandling of IPs in general in the comments, or the current state of superhero cartoons. I mean, God, why do they look like this? It's just so bad. As always, I'm John Zakari. And thanks for watching.